Hey guys, Connor Steinberg here. Welcome back to the channel. I got a great video for you today because I'm going to talk about something that a lot of people are going to disagree with, right? And probably including you. So over here, you have the traditional way of doing things, right? Everybody will always tell you, do not put granite in your rental properties because it's not cost effective and you spend too much money and you're not going to get a return. Over here, I'm going to argue why I put granite in almost every single one of my rental properties that I own and why I make a lot more doing so and why I'll argue anybody at any time on any stage on this point right here because we definitely make a lot more money putting granite in our rental properties and primarily in those houses that are 75 to 150K or up, we always do so. Now on some of our lower end properties, maybe we don't, but we're pulling out countertops from other, prop, uh, other properties that we have that we're rehabbing and moving those other older, nicer countertops down into these properties. So we're still saving the money doing that, but they're nicer ca uh, countertops than traditionally we would get anyways. So why am I putting granite in my, uh, in my houses? I wanna make more money, which is the goal of an entrepreneur, right? It is your obligation and your duty as an American to make as much money as you can because you can help as many people as possible, right? That's it. The more money you make, the more people you can help. So if you're self, uh, self-sufficient self and financially free, you can protect yourself and your family. As you make more money, you can, you can reach out and protect your extended family and their families, your friends and their families, your community, and if you get really successful, your country and then the world, right? That's kind of how it works. So the more money you make, the more ability you have, the more options you have to help as many people as possible. So as I film this channel and as I film these videos, the reason I'm doing so is to help y'all hit your financial goals quicker because if you do and you're good people, you're going to go out there and it's going to cause a chain reaction out there in the world and more good can be done. So how do you make more money as a landlord? Well, you put granite in your rental properties. I'm going to tell you why my argument is I do so and why over here their argument, the traditional way, the entire community probably is going to tell you that you don't. So number one, you rent the house faster. Simply put, if you have five houses in the neighborhood and you have a granite, uh, one with granite, one with wood, one with tile, one with formica, and one with like cardboard, right? But they're all the exact same house. The only difference is the countertop. You have one tenant and one tenant only, and they have to pick one house in the neighborhood. Which house are they going to pick? They're gonna pick the nicest house, obviously, because everybody wants to live in, live somewhere nice. Everybody wants to have the nicest house, the nicest car, uh, you know, the nicest clothes. People wanna live in a nice place. And even though they don't have a pride of ownership as far as owning the property, they still live there. That is where they live. That is where their life takes place. They want a nicer place to live. What if they have friends over, family members over? What if they have business colleagues over, right? They wanna have the nicest place possible. This is where they live. So put it this way, if I have a house that has granite in it, and you have a house that has Formica in it. It's the same house 100% otherwise, and they're roughly the same price to rent. Whose house are they gonna choose? They're gonna choose mine every time. So how does this correlate to making more money? Well, if you have more days on the market, more vacant days, you have carrying costs, taxes, insurance, water, electric, loan fees before you get that property uh, you know, occupied, right? So if it takes me a week and it takes you three weeks, you had two weeks that you're paying, right? So I can take this extra savings and throw it towards uh, paying off that initial sunk cost, that liability that I put in there for paying extra for uh, granite countertops up front. So this is a big savings for us because we rent properties faster. We rent them usually day one because people want nicer houses. And most people, like we're talking about in this video, do not put granite in a rental property. So it's rare that they get to have that opportunity. The next one, guys, they rent for more. Straight up, I've done it both ways. And in fact, I've rented the same house where I had Formica in it and I put granite in it and it rented for almost $200 more. So my properties on average rent for $100 to $150 more than the other properties that I'm competing against because they're not as nice. People wanna pay more for nicer things. People are gonna pay more for a Lamborghini than they are for a Camry. That's just how it is. Now, I know that's a little extreme, but it's trying to get the point through. So people are gonna pay more for it. So if you're paying, getting $100 more in rent, and you didn't pay that much more for the granite countertops, won't they kind of cancel out really quickly and then all those years going forward, you have a nicer property with nicer countertops that's gonna continuously rent quicker and make you more money? <clears throat> so kind of following on this brings us to our next point. People stay longer in a property that they like. So a lot of people move into the city, they don't know the city, and they move into a rental property just to kind of try to figure out where they're gonna live in the future for an extended period of time. But a lot of times people are just passing by. Now, if you have a nice property that they wanna go sign a two, three year lease in because they really like the property, they're gonna stay a lot longer, which means what for us as landlords? We don't have those vacancy loss. We don't have those that turnover, right? Which is one of our biggest losses as, as a landlord as far as income goes, is when people turn over and we have to fill the property again and we have to do those repairs and we lose that uh, income and we're making the payment on the property during that time period if we have the property leveraged through bank loan. So we can lock people in with a nicer property for a lot longer lease. Also, they usually stay for a lot longer. Why? Because the property is nice. Unless they're moving the, uh, out of state or they have another reason to move out of the area, 
Why would they move to a different house if the house they have is nice? You're a good landlord. You keep it up, and anytime anything breaks or, or anything goes wrong, you fix it quickly, and the property is nice. They're not going to leave. So you're going to keep people there a lot longer as compared to if you just have a junky property that people just kind of had to get because they had to get somewhere as quick as possible, and they moved into your property while they're looking to move into another house that's nicer, like one of my houses, right? So people rent them quicker, they rent for more, and they stay longer. <clears throat> now, when you put granite in these houses, when you go to sell the house on the backside, you're going to get a lot higher price for that property, right? Because a lot of you are buying a house at the bottom of market so it can ride up their appreciation wave, that millionaire maker phase, and sell them when they hit the top of market before the market falls out, right? So when you go to sell that house on the back of the market, will a house with granite sell for more than a house with just some basic tile, ca or tile countertops? Of course, it's gonna appraise for more and it's gonna sell for more. So if you have to go and renovate the house then and pull that or pull those old countertops out and then put granite again, once you've just spent a lot more money because you had to buy the countertops in the first place and now you're putting the same granite that you should have put, put in originally, so you're gonna save in those costs, plus you're gonna be able to sell the house for a lot more, so you're gonna make a lot more money on the back end. So it's just another way you're gonna make more money on the house and it's gonna get a higher appraisal than a house that's got just basic wood countertops or some kind of old uh, junky tile piece together like a lot of people seem to have in their rental properties. So it's a good way just to go ahead and put granite in on the front side. You're gonna get a return on it over and over and over. Another reason, guys, it's just not that much more expensive. I don't understand why people are trying to cut so many, so many corners to get granite as compared to another type of countertop, you may only be spending a little bit over $1,000 more per property in these smaller houses, right? That's not a lot. If I can rent a house for $100 more a month, 12 months a year, $1,200, one year I've canceled out those costs, now I'm net positive going forward. I'm making an extra $1,200 or a year if you, if, if you kind of look at it that way. So also when I go sell the property on the back and I'm gonna make more, I'm renting it faster. So there's all these different ways I make more money by putting nicer countertops in the property. The last reason is guys, we just talked about this pride of ownership for the for the person living there, but what about you as the, the investor? This is not talked about enough. You need to be proud of what you own because otherwise you're gonna constantly be uh, scared that you're gonna have to be fixing up properties if you're buying a bunch of junky properties. Plus, you feel a lot better when you have nicer houses. Would you rather own a bunch of brand new rental properties or a bunch of 1920 junky frame houses? So you can have pride of ownership. So. Those are the reasons why I put granny in my properties. I always rent them quicker. I rent them for more. People stay longer. I get a higher price when I sell them on the backside. And uh, guys, <clears throat> they're just uh, nicer properties. I have more pride of ownership. So put it like this. What's the other argument on the other side, the traditional side, the entire other community side? They're cheaper. You save money. They're cheaper. So, I mean, I guess I agree with that, right? They are cheaper, but so is the price you're gonna get when you sell that house on the back end, and so is the price that you're gonna get for the property when you rent it. So I hope I proved my point, guys. Have a good day, and I'll see you on the next video.